My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. We've got to get into our way back time machine again. It was sometime in the 1930s, so the story goes, that Ernest Hemingway, in desperate need of a toilet, wandered into the Floridita, a bar in Havana, Cuba. That's where he was living at the time and was affectionately known as Papa in Havana. The bartender there, Constantino Ribelegua, a vert, well, he was whipping up some daiquiris at the time and Hemingway, never wanted to pass up a drink, took a sip and said, not bad, but I prefer it with no sugar and double the rum. Whoa, whoa, double the rum. That would make this drink four shots of rum and a splash of lime juice. Well, you know, the man was legendary for his appreciation of a good drink. I'm not sure four shots of rum and a splash of lime juice is, is a good drink or not, but I always found it interesting how he managed to entwine cocktails and booze into his stories. Like in his first novel, The Sun Also Rises. Chapter six begins with Jack Barnes waiting for Brett. Well, Brett's a no-show. So about quarter to six, Jack went down to the bar and had a Jack Rose with George the barman. In farewell to arms, Frederick Henry is busy drinking martinis. And for whom the bell tolls, well, it's the drip of absinthe that uh, gives Robert Jordan solace from the hardship of war. Okay, back to the Papa Doble, which was what Hemingway's daiquiri was named. It never caught on, but Constantino, the barkeep, well, he created a new version in his honor. The Hemingway Special. Grapefruit juice and maraschino liqueur were added to this version to give it a little bit more depth and sweetness. However it got there, it's a fine drink. Let's make one. Okay, today we're going to use a uh, Bacardi uh, Meister de Ron. Uh, it's a really, really smooth, light rum with soft toasted oak notes. We want two ounces. Yum. Followed by Luxardo. That's a uh, maraschino uh, liqueur. Just a quarter ounce. 32% alcohol volume, and they've been making this stuff since 1821. Sweet. Next thing we want to do is uh, just grab a lime, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna juice the whole thing in hopes that we get about an ounce. Right into our drink. Rum and lime. I don't know. It's like a marriage made in heaven. Hope they got rum and lime in heaven. Or any kind of booze. <laughs> Lots of wine at that. <laughs> Can't get enough of that. Okay, next thing, a little white grapefruit juice. Now, typically you'll just use like a teaspoon, but I'm gonna go just a hair more. We'll call it a splash, okay? Sweet followed by some simple syrup. About a half ounce. What we want to do now is just grab some ice, pop her in our glass here, and shake it. Yum, it's a coming. Okay. Then we just gotta get our glass out of the uh, freezer. Okay. All we wanna do now is just strain her out. Sweet. Garnish it with a little twist of lime. The Hemingway Special. Let's check this out. Wow, that is so smooth, so smooth. 
It's uh, rum forward and citrus driven too. Uh, make one. Did you know that uh, August 16th is National Rum Day? <laughs> get out there, get yourself a bottle of rum, go to the beach or something, I don't know. <laughs> Strawberries. You know, to this day, I still make a hell of a lot of daiquiris, mainly strawberry. Thousands, seriously, thousands I have made in my lifetime. We made the Hemingway Special. Now we're gonna make one of the most popular ones I make today, the frozen strawberry daiquiri. You're gonna love it. So I'm just slicing up some strawberries here for our drink. And uh, I don't know, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's throw them in our blender. Next, a little uh, strawberry syrup that we made. Uh, and we're gonna go about an ounce. It just gives it a little sweetness there too. And one of the common threads in any daiquiri is lime juice. We've got a little sweet and sour going on here. So there's a lemon lime mix going. We're gonna go one ounce. And next thing we're going to put in is a, just, a, just a little bit of like a teaspoon of agave syrup. Perfect. You know, typically your strawberry daiquiri is white rum, uh, lime juice, and strawberries. That's it. I'm just <coughs> twisting it up. Yeah. Okay, time for our booze. I'm going to use uh, two ounces of spiced rum as a change. I'm going to be a little crazy here and I got a little bit of raspberry uh, sour puss. And we're going to put an ounce in. Sweet. Next thing we want to do is just grab our crushed ice I've pre-crushed. And we're going to just drop that in our blender. About six to eight ounces of crushed ice. Yeah, at least right there. Perfect. Grab our lid and start blending. Okay, now what we want to do is just get our frozen glass. I got this lovely little fish bowl and we're just gonna pour this out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Garnish with a little uh, fresh strawberry. Sweet. Cheers. Wow, wow, I did good. <laughs> it's not it's not your traditional strawberry daiquiri but it's better cheers folks make one you'll love it It's a really smooth rum with a really light, uh, with, with, with soft toasted oak notes. It's a, a white rum, very, very smooth, with soft toasted. toasted oak notes. With soft oak, with soft toasted oak notes. 
That's like sounds like a cereal, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, honey. Hey, honey. Where's my soft? What? Toasted oak notes. Where's my soft toasted oak notes? Oh my God. Hey, Bruce here. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to like. Maybe leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Click that button, man. <laughs>